Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video today we will talk about ethnic and the ethnic we will talk about is what it's called people they call it ethnic which is an Arab. Uh, mistakenly many and most of people including even those who they think they are Arab but the fact they are not, uh, they think that Arab is an ethnic. Uh, this is the organization of the Arab University or the Council and those are the flags of all the Arab countries who they call themselves Arab. So they call themselves Arab. Is that because they are an ethnic or because they speak a language? Is being an Arab is being someone who speaks the language or someone who he is from a race, it's called the Arab. That is the question. Many because of their ignorance, I'm talking about the, the, those who think they are Arab now, not about you as a Western, because you as a Western, you know, it's very, I understand if you, if you think that the Arab, or those who they are called Arab, is those who they are coming from a race, it's called the Arab. This is false. If you look with me in the map, this is the, the, the Kingdom of Oman, this is the, uh, the, the Emirate, uh, Qatar, Bahrain, uh, uh, Kuwait, uh, Iraq, uh, and uh, uh, this is a supposed flag of Syria, Lebanon, uh, they call it the state of Palestine, whatever, uh, uh, Egypt, uh, Libya, Sudan, uh, Tunisia, uh, uh, Algeria, Morocco, uh, and Mauritania. Uh, this is Jub uh, this is Somalia. Even Somalia is considered as an Arab country, and this is Jub Jub Djibouti. So, do you see really any connection between those? To say that we are a race, you know what race mean? If I say a Swedish, if I if I say Slavic people, if I say uh, Caucasian, it, all they share one look. This is what race is. This is why American, when we say American as a citizen, it's not a race, it's a citizenship. Because in America there's Asian, there's Middle Eastern, there's Caucasian, there's Black. So it's a foolish to say that America is a race, or American is a race, unless you are talking about the Native American. So how come when it's come to the speaking about something called Arab, we think it is a race, when well, it's not? This is this is Djibouti, all right. I will take you to Google. Those are the real people of Djibouti. Those are the native, original people of Djibouti. I'm not trying to show you a naked picture, but this is how they are. This is how they have nothing to do with the Arab. Their clothes, their culture, their everything about them have nothing to do with the Arab. So how those be being called Arab? Do the nose of someone in Djibouti look the same as someone he is from Saudi Arabia or someone from Iraq or someone from Syria or the face or the body or the hair? What they share with them? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is what it's called the Islamization or Arabization of other nations. Those people, they have nothing to do with the Arab, and they are not Arab. If we go and see those who they are called Arab in Lebanon, those are the Lebanese. Do you see any, any clothes in the look for those who we saw in the picture there? Like, do they look really like those? Do we see any similarity? So, both are Arab. I wanted to show you a picture of women of Yemen, but I'm, I, can, I cannot see faces. You see, all oh, what I see is, a, is a, I don't know. This is those are women from Yemen. Women. Anyway, anyway, this is this is Yemen. So, if we look at those people, we will not find anything they share in the look, which means they have nothing to share in the ethnic, because ethnic we share the same genes, we share the same skin, we, we share the same color. Uh, we, we, you know, but obviously. 
there is nothing to share between those people. Everybody knows. It's not a secret. And maybe I should make a, a like a, a video with details. You know, this is just a fast video. Uh, that the Muslims, when they occupy all the countries around them, none of them even speak Arabic. None of them what? Speak Arabic. If we go to, uh, let me show you the map. If you go in those in those maps, you will see all those countries here, all with no exception, except this area. <clears throat> not even Yemen. <clears throat> Sorry, not even Yemen. You know, if you go and read the history, even the Quran speak about Yemen was or used to be a land of the Jews the land of the Jews and before them the Ethiopian there is many nations they went there then when the Arab overcome and when I say the Arab is the ones, those who speak Arabic not ethnic when they overcome then the language changed and became the Arabic so what we are talking about here that we have occupation extend and that occupation extend to other countries and those countries do not speak Arabic, but after we occupy them, we make them speak Arabic. This is what's called Arabization. Uh, as an example, uh, Jordan. Jordan never been a country who speak Arabic. How come they are Arab but they don't speak Arabic? Well, it's called Palestine. All of us, we know that when Omar al-Khattab, he came, not even one person in Jerusalem speak Arabic. Not even one. Same as in Lebanon, this is Aramaic land. Same as in Iraq, this is Assyrian land. Or same in Syria, this is Assyrian land. So when those people speak about Arab as an ethnic, they are just being ignorant. How the Arabic language went all the way from here, all the way to here. When the Muslims occupy, the first thing they do in order to establish Islamization, they force Arabic language. It's the first step of Islamization. It comes even before the religion. Actually, the first one who changed the language, uh, his name, the Khalifa, Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, during the state of Amawiyin. And he established his kingdom, or his Khalifa, in Damascus, in Syria. He is the first one who established what it's called Arabization. So he changed, he ordered to change all the languages, which is the native languages of people before him, which they occupy from Aramaic to Arabic, and that goes for all the countries which is under their rules. The people of Morocco, they have their own language. They are Amazir. They are not Arab or Berber. Same as the other countries, Libya, Tunisia, etc., you name it. All those countries, Egypt, they have their own language, Egyptian, the Coptic. When the Arab came, those who speak Arabic, not an ethnic, they came to Egypt, it was 4,000 of them. According to many historians, at that time, Egypt have about 4 million, the population. So it's very funny that Egyptian African Later, they've been called Arab by the occupation of 4,000 men. To make it simple for you, I'm going to take 4,000 of my people to your country, and your country is 4 million. And then your country will take my citizenship, which means the 4,000 made the 4 million change their identity from African Egyptian to Arab. So who is the Arab? Simply, Arab is not an ethnic. Arab, you know, the word Arab, actually, is, even the word Arab is not even an Arabic word. It is, it is a, a title or description being given by the Assyrian and the Greek. Some they say the Assyrian, they said uh, that before, the Aramaic. Some they say it is, it is uh, coming from the Greek. Whatever it's coming from, it is not even named by the Arab themselves. Those who live in the, winter, in the wilderness, in the desert, those are called the Arab. They are not even a language. They speak many languages. So when one of those groups overcome other groups, they force them to speak their language. 
and this is how it is always. There is no ethnic, none of them look the same, they have nothing to do with each other, they don't have the same skin, they don't have the same eyes, they don't have the same color, they don't have even the same heritage. The music of those people have nothing to do with the music of those people, and the food of those people have nothing to do with the food of those people. So how stupid it is to say that Arab is an ethnic group. It is not. There is nothing is called Arab. This is why we see uh, this organization contain people who speak Arabic. They are not really Arab as an ethnic. They have different culture, different history. Even the, Arab they, the Arabic they speak is not nothing to do with each other. I speak Arabic fluently, but if I listen to someone from Morocco, I will have a very hard time to understand him. Why? Because his Arabic is mixed with his own heritage of the barbarian and Amazigh. Half of it is not even Arabic because he is mixing it with his own roots. Same to speak to someone from uh, those countries, like how I'm going to understand someone from Somalia. There is no way, it's going to be very hard. But yet they say they speak Arabic. How come their Arabic is, is not, is not uh, understood by me? Because it's not Arabic. It's, a, it's a, a, a big mix of languages. They occupied by the Muslims, they forced them into Arabization, and then they called themselves Arab. And actually, if you go right now to Pakistan, Pakistan, let me show you. Search for Arabization of Pakistan, you will find, search for any country you want, you will find how the Muslims, they work hard to do the Arabization plan. Because this is the first step to establish Islamic State, to conquer making those people forget about their culture, forget about their heritage. This is why you go to Pakistan now, you will not see someone, he have an Indian name. You will see Muhammad, Ahmad, you speak to them, he say, Assalamu Alaikum, Alhamdulillah, La Hawla Wala. You feel like you are in Saudi Arabia. That because the Arabization, so, and they do that everywhere. This is a human right watch. Go and see what they are doing. They are forcing people to speak Arabic when they can. So imagine when they are really in control what they can do. This is now, 2015. They force the Kurdish, they force the Assyrian, they force everybody. This, those are, have nothing to do with, with, with Arabic language and they are not from the Arab. They've been forced always to call themselves Arab. If you don't call yourself Arab, you are betraying. You are betray, you, know, you are a traitor, you are, you are a bad person, you will be killed. So then, where is the Arab world coming from? I, I saw this article, you can take your time and you can read it yourself. Alright, I will post it underneath of the... Uh, uh, I did not check it out 100% to say, to say the truth, but I saw there is some information there is valid. Uh, maybe later I will check it uh, more. However, Arab, you need to know, you need to remember, Arab are not a race. It's to, it is called, or it's, a, it's a title for those who live in the wilderness at, at, in the beginning, and then today it became for those who speak the language of those who live in the wilderness. Now, those who speak the wilderness language, it was not even one, one language, it's called Arabic. It was a mix of things. It's born out of Aramaic. It is some from the Persian, some from the Aramaic, some from the Greek. All of it, it come as, at the end, as Arabic. As an, as an example, if we go to the Quran, the Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا We made it a pure Quran, pure Arabic. If you go and see, you will see the Quran is full of words have nothing to do with Arabic. Qalam, Tabut, Bustan, etc. It's in this. Jannah, uh, uh, Ismail, uh, 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 Jibreel, those are, this is nothing not, not Arab, have nothing to do with Arab. So the Quran is full of words that have nothing to do with Arabic. Why? Because there's nothing is called really Arabic. Arabic is born out of languages. Number one is the Aramaic and then a mix of other languages, which Persian, Greek, uh, and some local uh, tribes who you, they have their own languages. All of it mixed together and make what it's called Arabic today. Follow with me with more videos. God bless and thank you very much.